Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. And we have a major release out for Ada Markets, which is a DEX aggregator on Cardano built to simplify your trading experience and make sure you get the best price every time you're trading. It is a project that I am a part of. And this release has been a long time in the making. There's a lot of new features gone into it, which we're going to walk through here, as well as new DEXs included in the algorithm with MinSwap V2, SundaySwap V3, axo and genius yield from the order book side all thrown in with all of the dexes we already had any features you'd like to see included in this as well or any feedback on this do let us know in the comments down below we're starting a weekly trading competition for anyone who trades using the platform you get entered into a free giveaway so i'll cover that towards the end as well thanks for watching i do appreciate it let's jump into it okay kicking it off looking at bubbles just in case anyone is new to the platform so this is a popular feature that we have where you get a quick overview of the top tokens on Cardano in a nice, easy to view graphical way. So you can see green obviously is tokens that are up against ADA or red is down for the last up here, the last day. If I change it to seven days, you can see here it updates and gives me the difference then in the last seven days. Summary up here, only eight tokens in the last week are up against ADA and 45 down from the top tokens. And as well, you will you can change this to whatever tokens are in your wallet. So this is a test wallet. I have lots of random tokens in it. Also, your favorite tokens. So again, random tokens on this test account that you set as your favorites. And you can keep track of them easily on a day-by-day -day basis or however often you want. And soon, you'll be able to look at it against other currencies too. So a new page to help you with your market overview is the new homepage that gives you the overall look of the tokens, how things are going for the last. At the minute, we have simple stats in here. This is going to expand out the one hour change, 24 hour and seven day. You have the market cap, the holders, and then the overall seven day chart up on top, the top gainers for 24 hours and the top drops. One thing that I always like to see when I'm looking at a token as well is it's up in 24 hours, but it's actually still only even for the last seven days. Same here, this one actually up for the last 24 hours, but down 9% for the last week. So that's even with it being up in the last 24 hours. And the same with the biggest drops. Sometimes you'll have a token has had a big drop in the last 24 hours, but it could be because it has had a big move for the last week. For these ones, obviously, that isn't the case. If you look at the ADA price, there is a nice little hidden page here. If you just click on the ADA price, just to get an overview of how ADA is looking. So you have here BTC USD. If you want to look at Bitcoin, I always say to come to look back at that. You also have the ADA BTC chart. You have ADA Euro, GBP, ETH. So any other pairs against ADA, you can look at it here and you get the analysis over here of what the sentiment is in the market for that. So if we go then to the swap page, when you come to it first, you get the simple page here. So this is the simple look for the swap screen. So if you wanted to swap, say I wanted to swap 10,000 data into WMT, then what it would do is it recommends going through all of these DEXs. So what it does is it goes out there, searches all the different DEXs that are out there and comes back with the best possible return for you while taking fees into account because when you split to multiple DEXs, then you do incur more fees, but this takes it all into account. So you can see here, it recommends going through all of these. You can see the split on it here and for splitting, you would get 130 extra WMT rather than if you just had to go through any of the, if you had to go through the best single DEX on its own. And this is updating in real time. So every time a new block comes in, it's checking to make sure the prices are still the same and readjusts if it needs to. Down here, you have the choice of which DEXs you go through. And this is global. So if you click on these once, then it will remember that for every one of your trades going forward. You can always change it back. Say you only wanted to use Plutus V2 DEXs, Click on V2 here. You can see it unticks the DEXs that aren't V2 DEXs. And actually at the minute, the best route for you to go through if you only wanted V2 DEXs would be Genius Yield here. But if I go back to all, now you will notice that the amount that is returned to you is different because if you go through, obviously you go through all the different DEXs, then you are going to get more. Then if we look at, so some of the newer features, we'll go into the Pro ver version first. So when you click on this here, it expands out and gives you more, more information, more 
I suppose, info to help you with your trade. So up on top is new is the carousel. And you can change that to 24 hour change or seven day, or you can get rid of it if you want. Then you have your favorites. So these are the tokens that I've listed as favorites. And actually, if do you know what, I've skipped one part. If I go down here to a guided tour, if you come onto the platform first, then you're going to get prompted for this without clicking the button down here. But if you don't see it, you can always come back and do it. So welcome to Ada Market step by step guide. Click on yes. So then what it's going to do is guide you through the whole platform. So if you're new to trading or new to certain aspects, then you can check it all out here. And we will expand this to have individual tutorials and everything throughout it too. So obviously you connect your wallet, then showing the carousel up on top. Next, you have the tokens that you want to trade, then explaining what a market order is, what a limit order, DCA, then settings. So we're going to go into all of these things in a few minutes. Then down here, you have the main app settings, which I will show you too. Then pro, so disable and enable pro. This one here is a feature I really like, a new one, which I'll show you in a minute for looking at the liquidity. Then trading from to and then set your DEXs. So like we talked about, you can enable or disable certain DEXs. Token information down the bottom here. Up top is the price change. One of the next few versions, we're going to put in things like volume and different stats around that individual pair too. Then you have recent charts. So any charts that you have opened recently will appear here so you can easily go back to get them. The chart, obviously what it is. And then down the bottom, you have global trades, your own trading history for the chosen token, and then the pools there as well. So let's finish that. So that takes us through a lot of the overall features that are there. So I did say this is one of my favorite new features. So when I click on this, what you see is we get the pop out with the order book liquidity. And at the minute, it is aggregating AXO and Genius Yield. Other order book DEXs are going to be added in very soon. And it gives you an overall look for the order book of where things sit. So you can see this is why Genius Yield was suggested if we are only going for V2 DEXs that you can see it has the best liquidity right now. Now you'd also have MinSwap V3 or V2 and Sunday V3 are V2 DEXs. They were included in the algo in the back end, but it thought that when you take fees and everything in going to one DEX for this particular trade was best. By the time you look at it, it could be very different than that. It might even with V2. V2 doesn't just recommend a single DEX. It could recommend multiple DEXs, but it takes all the different factors into account. So over here, you have the AMM pools. So you can see the liquidity on all of the different pools. You see the price on each of them. And this is what we talk about. There is arbitrage opportunities out there for Cardano. So if you look at all these DEXs here, all these liquidity pools, they all have slightly different prices. So they're all about 472 is a lot of these. So actually WMT at the minute is fairly close. But if you look over here, then there's definitely opportunities here too. If you are looking for arbitrage, down the bottom then you have the global trades, you have your own trading history for a token. You can see this one is pending at the minute, so I could cancel the trade from here. And then pools is where it always was, just the different liquidity on the AMM DEXs. Down here, if I look at settings then. So settings at the minute, whether you want your wallet to auto connect when you come back, themes. So we have different themes there. There's Snack, World Mobile, Igon, Husky, and a light and dark theme. Explorer, if you have a preferred block explorer for Cardano, you can set it here. So then any transactions you go to will go to that one. Favorites, so at the minute it's up on top. So if I change this to the bottom and you can actually see in the blurred screen, it has put it there. We'll see that in a minute. Then you have the carousel, you have the swap placement. So if you prefer the swap placement on the right, you can see it moves to the right in the background and auto show order book is that when you come to the page, I prefer on the left, so I'm gonna put it back. But the auto show order book means that anytime you go onto a page, this here is automatically popped out. I like it in for now, and then I can just pop it in and out whenever I want. So then say you're looking towards the other trades to see what other people are doing right now. And you're looking down through all the different trades that are happening on WMT. And let's pick one of the bigger ones. So here's one here that swapped 4.9 at K ADA for WMT. So if I see then there's a little wallet symbol over here. So if I click on the wallet symbol, it's going to open up that wallet for you. And first off, it shows the portfolio here. So I can see the person that made that trade 
this is what they hold. So they hold WMT, MELD and ADA in this wallet. And then you can see the value of the wallet. And if I go over to swaps, then I can see these are the different trades that this wallet has been making. So at the minute, the PL is unavailable. We're doing a resync right now. Might even be back by the time that you get onto the platform yourselves. And then you can see all the different trades. So you can see they make a decent few trades. Even in the last day, last 24 hours, they made a decent few trades on WMT and on NTX Nunet. So if you come in and you see that this person is making lots of trades, you can come in and think, okay, maybe there's a reason that they're starting to accumulate all these different assets and you can come in and maybe pick some of them up too. So the final page then is portfolio for your own wallet. So this is a test wallet. So I have lots of assets in it that makes it easier to see what the features are like. So you can see I have small amounts of all of these different assets here. These are all the ones that are in this current wallet. And then I have the swaps. So again, I can see the swaps on all the different DEXs that are there. You see the breakdown of the wallet, the percentages, but the assets then. So a while back, we talked about a basket feature and you can do the basket from the main swap screen, but you can also do it from here. So that means that I can add multiple different trades into the basket and then only sign it at the end and submit them all in one transaction. So say I have Jed here, I wanna clean up my wallet. Jed, I click on the basket, I click on max. So I want to sell this Jed into Ada. It's saying to go through wing riders, add to basket. Jens then, I want to sell this. Let's say I don't want to sell at all. I only want to sell 80 gens into ADA. It's saying, again, it's saying to go through wing riders for this due to the fees. If I click on that and then copy, so I'm going to say, I want to sell all the copy into ADA and wing riders actually comes up. And this is due to the small fees that wing riders does keep coming up here. If I then go to Sunday, Sunday will probably come up as Sunday swap as the DEX. And yet you can see Sunday swap V3 is the DEX here. So click add to basket. And then up the top now, you can see I have four items in my basket. So click on the basket and you can see here, I have the four trades. I can see all the summary of the fees and everything like that. And then at the minute, these are going through the different DEXs if something changes in the background. So you could add these assets, forget about it and come back later on. The actual DEX that you should trade on or things like that might have changed the amount. So when you open this page, it goes off and checks them all again and comes back. So if there is a better price for you, then it will come back and give you that better price. So what you could do then is click on confirm swap. It builds the transaction. You can see here, it's built the transaction. It's sending all these assets and I would sign that transaction. I'm not gonna do it here now, but you can also on this, so I haven't signed that transaction. You can come into your basket at any time and you can go add trade so you can come in here and you can add any of these trades add as many as you want submit them all in one transaction and that's it for now but there's a lot more features that are coming i'm sure i forgot about some of the ones that are there but hope this has given some insights into the platform what it has and there's a lot more to come and we're looking for feedback too what feedback do you guys have that you would like to see we also have a trading competition where Every trade on the platform is one entry into the giveaway. Every Saturday, we're going to give away 250 ADA and there might be some projects coming in to give away some tokens fairly soon too. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all of the support and I will talk to you soon.